see when Pharaoh changed his mind again and chased after them. <laughs> Pharaoh's chariots, they were terrified. But God told Moses to raise his staff toward the Red Sea. God sent a strong wind and parted the sea. And the Israelites walked straight through the Red Sea. There was a wall of water on each side of them. They arrived safely on the other side. Followed them into the sea. God told Moses to stretch out his hand. Then the sea rolled back again, and Pharaoh and his army all drowned. <laughs> Through a wilderness, he fed them and mm -hmm. gave them water. They camped at Mount Sinai, where God told Moses to meet him on mm -hmm. the mountaintop. Surrounded by fire and smoke, Moses climbed to the top, and God came down to meet him. gave Moses the Ten Commandments on two stone tablets. Don't worship other gods. Don't make idols. Treat my name with respect. Treat the Sabbath day as a special day. Don't murder. Be loyal to your husband or your wife. Don't steal. Don't lie. Don't envy people or what they own. Now, the people knew how to obey God. Said, we will never defeat the people there. But Joshua and Caleb said, with God's help, we can do it. The Ten Spies. God said, Only your children, with Joshua and Caleb, will enter the Promised Land. So after... F into Jericho. They met a woman called Rahab, who hid them and helped them escape down the wall. They promised to spare her and her family. The priests went first, carrying the Ark of the Covenant. When their feet touched the river, it stopped flowing. Everyone crossed on dry land. The Lord told Joshua, For six days, march once around Jericho. Then, on day seven, march around seven times. Blow trumpets, shout, the walls will fall down.
did what the Lord said, and the walls fell down. They took the city. Rahab was spared. God's people began to take the promised land. <laughs> the Philistines rule over them for 40 years. Then he chose a man named Samson to set them free. mother that she would have a son. Samson would have to make three promises to God. Never drink wine, never touch dead things, never cut his hair. Oh. Says to God, he even ate the honey. named Delilah. <laughs> the Philistines promised her lots of money to discover why Samson was so strong. She asked him again and again. <laughs> Lila, his secret. If my hair is cut, my strength will go. So, while he slept, Delilah called for a man to cut off his hair. Samson's strength left him. They captured him easily. They blinded him. Then they put him in prison and set him to work, dragging a heavy grinding stone. His hair grew back. The Philistines brought Samson into their temple to thank their false god Dagon for defeating him. Samson asked God. <laughs> 